this is Michael, Michael Ratcliffe, and today we're going to discuss Omping CV than Raspberry Pi and how we can use it to detect things. In this tutorial, we're detecting faces, um, but we could change the uh, cascade to find anything. So let's start with how Omping CV detects faces. Um, you get a USB camera into the Pi, you take a snapshot, and you get a, a still picture. You convert that to Black, a black and white picture, a grey a gray picture and you tell it what to look for by the use of a hair cascade so what does a facial hair cascade looks looks for? If you look at my face now, you, I've got a dark patch where my eyes are and a shiny patch down each cheek so it looks for this dark patch and two, sh two bright squares there now we can tell it any hair, we can train a hair cascade to look for anything so in the greenhouse blog we're going to be looking for fish in the future with it so we'll look at the fish we'll decide what breed they are and how big they are to determine how we feed them but i think you had enough of me talking so let's um actually look at it so this is the raspberry pi with the touch screen that dave kindly sent me so we'll open the terminal We've already installed OpenCV in the last video, so I'm not going to cover that. So you open the terminal and type the code in. I don't know if you can see that actually. It's Python, the script that we want to run, and then the location of the hair cascade. And when I press enter, Yep, the screen pops up with what it's looking at, at the top of my head. So when I look at the camera, if you notice it's detecting my face. If I move my face, it still does a good job of tracking it. Now in the Halloween project we're looking for trick-or-treaters. It doesn't work when I turn my face sideways, but there is a script for that. This is a screen mask, and if you look... It does sort of detect it every couple of loops. Um, so it should put a square around any faces that it's found. It, it, as you can see, it's not perfect, but it is relatively good. There's a bit of lag, but that's because of the processing power of the Pi, really. Nothing we can do about that yet until another Pi comes out. Um, so read the text below on element 14 on how to run your own cascade and watch the next video where we will show it in action. 